AFPW currently at 0003. We see some volume coming in here uh, right now, currently at 92 million shares. We see that coming into this one right now. Uh, I, I will note that there is a lot of shares in this one to be traded. We see this uh, line right here. Uh, I, I, you get the idea. Over here on March 9th, you guys had a move at an open. Check this out. Open at 0005, hit a high at 0007 and a low at 0002. What a big move for 600 million shares traded. That is a lot of shares to be traded down here. I'm not too sure exactly what's going on. Possible accumulation. Uh, but look, it, it's got a history of popping off of that. You guys take it for what it is. At the 0001, 0002 area, got all the way up to 0009. Uh, a lot of people, oh, you know, 0001, it's going to five cents. Could it? Sure, it's possible. But play it for what it is. Lock in your profits. You'll stay in the stock market much longer. I think a lot of people can definitely agree with me there. Uh, so take it for what it is. Right now, you guys are at 0003. Watch for a close at or above 0004 to confirm any possible move. The reason why I say that is that the 30-day simple moving average right now is currently at 0003. Uh, and that's exactly where you guys are at right now. You guys are above uh, the 20 and 10, even though they're all binded together right now. At that 0003, uh, you're going to watch for a 0004 to confirm. A move off of there. Resistance level is going to follow up off of that at 0004 and 0006. And again, the support uh, is going to be the triple zero two. Obviously, you can't go too much lower than that. Uh, besides triple zero one, so right now that's what you guys are going to be watching for. Watch for that hit of triple zero four. If you're lucky enough to pick up triple zero twos for a lotto or whatever you want to play it, uh, that's obviously completely up to you. I'm just telling you guys what to watch for moving forward. Again, we have not covered this one together since March six. All right, so. Uh... These guys right now have a stop sign with pink no information. And let's see, their latest 8K on February 21st, I went and pulled that up really quick and it was saying that on February 7th, the board of directors of the company approved filing an amendment of the company's articles of incorporation to effective name change uh, for the company. It's going from a Lumi, a Lumi Fuel Power Corporation to Phoenix Equity Holdings Corporation. So upon uh, approval, by the company's stockholders, the offices of the company will take the steps to affect the name change in Wyoming. And as it reflects the name change regarding the company's common stock at the earliest practical date. So that was on, um, what date was this? February 24th. Um, they, they also had a NT10K on April 3rd, 2017. I don't know if they got a date of when they're planning on putting it out because, let's see. No, it doesn't give you a timeline. All right, because, I, I mean, I see another NT10KQ from November 15th, and, you know, the the and the 10Q never came out after that, too, so that's probably why that stop sign's there. So, I mean, that's pretty much that. So, obviously, they planned on changing the name. They got all different things. I mean, you, you probably want to go into the 8Ks and start ripping through them and see what's going on with the company. Um, If you know anything of the company or if you have an opinion on it, feel free to go over to that AFPW board and share it with the tens of thousands of like-minded investors that we have using the site daily um, with the, let's see what, if I can see what their uh, share structure is like right now. No, it's not available. All right, so that's pretty much that. All right, that's it, David. All right, so again, with the chart, triple zero three right now, again, watch for the triple zero four as a hit to confirm a possible move. Resistance at triple zero three. Triple zero four, I know that's close together, but again, I mean, I think the triple zero four is going to probably be the uh, the biggest one to, I'm sorry, triple zero three is going to probably be the biggest one to watch for uh, to get through that 30 day simple moving average right here. Uh, so again, off of that triple zero four is going to be a lighter one. I still think triple zero three is going to be the hardest one to get through in my personal opinion. After that, uh, four or five could probably come much quicker. We'll watch on how that one plays out. So again, the resistance is going to be at triple zero three, four and six off of that split and then up to around seven, eight. Uh, but again, triple zero three is going to be the one that you're going to watch for the break. Or triple zero two down there at the bottom can't go go too much longer lower but afpw if you follow this one i definitely encourage you to hit that like and subscribe button and get out there and share this video the more you share it the more it's requested the more we cover it so if you want to see your favorite socks covered more go ahead and share it that's how we do it and if you have a hot sock you'd like to share with us as well let us know about it over on investorshangout.com forward slash live